Good morning, everyone. Another gorgeous day on the West Coast. Not much to do today. We're waiting for corn to um, to come online. We're waiting for uh, ground temperatures to uh, to come up. It's the last day of spring, but uh, well, the uh, the corn probably won't be at ten degrees. The ground probably won't be at ten degrees until um, until at least uh, first or second day of summer. Anyway, we're not too concerned about. Oh, what the hell? Okay, was gonna come down and take care of the cows, but uh, it's all gone. Uh oh. Looks like Sim Station's move to the west coast is complete. Um, how am I supposed to take care of these cows? Oh, I know who I can call. Hang on. Hello. Hey there, Sim for the Nation. How are you doing, buddy? Not too bad. How are you today? I'm okay. I got a small little problem, though. I'm standing here at a cattle farm. I've got cattle, but mm -hmm. uh, looks like the owner took all the equipment and left. It's a little bit complicated. Oh, so I got the, yeah. So I got cows now that need feeding, and I need equipment, but uh, I don't have a whole lot of money. Do you, you okay. know where I could get something? Hmm. I I don't know of much. I was speaking to a good friend of mine the other day, and there's a little place up the coast that has some. There's this old farmer who's kind of retiring. Um, okay. So he's selling a bunch of stuff. So we could go and have a look at oh. his stuff. I'm not sure on new or what he has available, but why don't we go and take a drive up there and see what we can find? Yeah, I can meet you there in the morning. Um, just text me no the directions problem. and uh, I'll meet you there. All right. Bye. Hello! Hey, hey, how you doing? I'm all good. How are you, my man? Fancy meeting you here. What are I got the chances? Uh, yeah, I know. I love this map. This is, uh, this you Sandy Bay breakfast? is... Oh, uh, no, I didn't. You want to grab a burger on the way in? Yeah, I'm going to have to. It's going to be a long day. Yeah, but this map, I mean, I, I just, just sort of showed up here back in Sandy Bay, and uh, it's, uh, it's been a couple of years since I've been here. This thing uh, kind of stands up, though. It's uh, really beautiful. It's all right, hey? and the weather yeah. is always great when you come here. The sun is always shining. Yeah, beautiful. It's a beautiful really thing. Really nice. All right, so do you want to just grab a burger to go, and uh, we'll uh, we'll head out. Yeah, yeah give me one second. Breakfast and then we'll, sandwich. Uh, driving. Okay, we'll cool. Drive. All right, we'll both drive. If you well, you can hop in a landy with me if you want. Oh, look at that! The trains in the sky. The trains in the sky. Yeah. Huh. Wow. Odd. <laughs> Did you see it? No. Oh uh, no, dude. Something about the locomotives got it floating in the sky. Huh. Something got oh, moved. You know. That was another one. Beep beep. There you go. Man, and then move it on. Anyway, all right. Anyway, grab all yourself right, a, have, grab yourself a, a sandwich. Sandwich. Let's get out of here. All right, let's go for it. Uh, I, you know what? I'm. Uh, do you want to just hop in the landy with me, or do you want to drive your own? No, I'll hop in with you. That okay, works. perfect. We'll come back down here at the end of the day. So it's a British landy, so I get the driver's seat. You do. <laughs> All right, let's start her up. Onwards, chauffeur. Onwards. All right. Well, if you uh, if you hit tab, if you hit E a couple times, you may end up in the front seat. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, don't yeah. hit the dog. Is the dog clear? Is the dog clear? Dog's clear. Good. Talk to the dog. Okay. Let's, to Let's see here. All right. So where are we? Uh, where are we headed? Actually. Uh, so we want to head the other way. You're going the wrong way. Oh, do we? Uh, okay. Yeah, let's take me left, please. We're going to go to this old little farmer dude. Who, okay. Um, I've known kind of through uh, an acquaintance of mine because I used to sell some straw to him as it goes. Right. 
Uh, I need to take this left here. Left again, all right. Uh, it turns out that he has decided to call it a day. Okay. Um, you know, he was getting on a little bit and realized that it was taking a little bit too much out of him. Right. Um, so yeah, he's decided to hang up the final time. So we're going to go and see what he's got for sale. Um, Beautiful. Um, I believe he's kind of keeping some of the farm structure there because someone's going to come right. and take over the farm. Right. But we're going to... Uh, yeah, we're going to see, have a little rummage, see what he's got. Absolutely. And, uh, see if we can get you out of this little hole you found yourself in. Yeah, I mean, um, I guess uh, there was a misunderstanding. Oh, sorry, let's, oh. take, let's take that left oh. sorry. I got distracted. Oops, sorry. Hang on. We're just going to let this car here get by us, and then uh, we'll we'll back it up. Great brakes, though. Really yeah. nice oh, brakes. he turned. And the truck's going to turn to... Ah, car's everywhere. All right, here we go. All right, and turning in. Beautiful. Lovely. So yeah, this is um, nice toys for you and really get you back on track. Yeah, yeah, like I don't have much of a budget at all, so it's, uh, I think okay. there was a misunderstanding. He thought I was uh, taking over the entire operation, but uh, I was kind of hoping to just run it for a little while and to uh, and to use his equipment to do it, but uh, this is fine. It just... Uh, just a bit of a, a, a wrench in the in the in the works. That's all. So it's a small speed bump in the middle of the road. That's all it is. Oh, that's it. That's it. I uh, yeah. I just came off of a uh, massive cow operation over in Germany, so okay. I just uh, I'm I'm okay with it. I know I know what I'm doing with the cows, so it's going to yeah. be a lot of fun. Oh, and nice. I've and I've got my uh, my partners with me too. So. Genetic happened to move in just around the corner from the uh, cattle farm, so on a day-to-day -day basis he can look after them. And nice. then uh, we've got a grass operation for the sheep, so getting hay down there is not going to be a problem. Oh, well, look at that! And You've got the dream team already. That's set up. it, and that gives me. Right. I might just end up bailing on my contract with the. Uh, oops, this place so here. Let's go left. I see the big yeah. sign, so. Ways into here, but I'm gonna go in this way. So I'll just uh, oh. pop out and open the yeah, gate. Yeah, open the gate for me. But so this is oh. this is our um, old farm. Yeah, this is our. This is his old farm. Right. So I think someone's. He's. Are you gonna swing around to the right here as well? Okay. Um, I think someone's already lined up to come and use all like the buildings and the infrastructure. And okay. I think he's gonna lease the land off the, the old right. guy. Uh, so as you can oh, see, okay, I see stuff here. Yeah, all done? this stuff's kind of gone. So there's a little track, I believe, we can kind of take, um, kind of head towards where all that machinery stuff is. Oh, he's got a lot of stuff here. And this is nice. Okay, some of so it's a, a bit older. Some of it's probably not much use other than junk. Right. And if you oh, go straight to that gate, there's almost some newer up. stuff on this end over here. Yeah, so there's a few things that we could find uh, a little useful here. Uh, okay, I got a bunch of guys here parked, so I'm just going to hang out with them. Bring it in here, and we'll go and have a little wonder, I guess. Yeah, perfect. Well, it doesn't look like anybody was too worried about how they parked, so let's just hop <sighs> out. I see that. Easy Beautiful. enough to remember, just uh, go to the big combine and straight on till morning. Oh, beautiful stuff. Nice. So I think we've got about an hour or so until the auction's going to start. So we are free to go and have a look around. I already I took the liberties yesterday to kind of register our details with the auctioneer. So we okay. can go and we're able to go and buy some things. Beautiful. But yeah, let's have a wonder, see what catches your eye. and Let's see here. I guess uh, the hardware, I don't really need much in terms of hardware. He's got some old Russian stuff over here. He's so, a fan of collecting the older stuff. And yeah. I think to get rid of anything, judging by a lot of the, a lot of the machines around here. So once he bought something, I don't think it ever really left the. Yeah, left yeah, the yeah. Farm. I wonder if this trailer would fit on my sidecar. It's got motorcycle side wheels to it. That hmm. would be pretty. That might be an interesting way to move seed around eventually. Does it have straps yeah. in there or anything like that? Not really, eh? Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's well, nice little thing. if there's collisions on the sides, which there seems to be, maybe that'll, uh, that would make it interesting to carry seed bags and fertilizer bags with the motorcycle. Yeah, just a couple at a time, just to keep you going. That's it. Yeah. 
little old cedar. I think we've graduated beyond this level now, so I'm not sure that's going to be useful to me. I wonder what these little like tabs it? in the top are. So I think that's where you actually put each... <clears throat> Oh, oh yeah, that's where you put the seed and then you lock yeah. them with the orange tabs. So you put the uh, yeah. you put the the lid on and then you lock it by twisting it, it against the orange. Yeah, that's very interesting. Okay, what simple else? but elegant. Well, that's the Russian way, right? If yeah. they they can't just well if they can't just hammer it together with uh, you know with a couple with a little bit of twine, it's not it's probably not going to work for them. Oh, he's got some tractors back here. Oh, does he ever have some tractors back here? What oh, is he has that? led to believe that he had an eclectic range. Um, yeah. And then I was not expecting anything quite like this. Wow. Do you this uh those is something else? Yeah, no kidding. Let me see if uh, let me see if it starts yeah. here. Just give, uh give that key to and see what it does. Oh, it's got a pony engine. It does have a pony engine. That must be what, a two stroke? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Starts right up. That's beautiful. Nicely done. Beautiful texture work. The blade on the front. I wonder if this hook on the blade uh, will let you move um, equipment and stuff like that. Yeah. Like if you can use that to hook up to a trailer or something like that. That would be interesting. Look it at depends that. what you what you'd use the blade for. You may want to kind of lower that hook down a little bit, yeah. just so it's more central, because it might be a touch high even when the blade's on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I love the uh, little bit of shake on the engine while it's running. Look at the texture on the tracks too. I love the teeth on the tracks to uh, to get it it's going. Good. I mean, I, I've I've heard from some people that there's going to be quite a bit. Of there's quite a lot of snowfall uh, around the west coast so yeah yeah maybe this is what we need we need something like this to clean up the yard at least to clean the yard up yeah no doubt it could be worth and i'm sure it's oh, from yeah. a, an auction standpoint not gonna be that expensive so no, the budget stretches, oh look at that know. too here's another one here this is a nice one too nice old russian deal they're beautiful and he's got a couple of little massies over here so some uh, some more modern i guess modern a more, yeah a little bit more modern but in phenomenal condition yeah it's oh wait, wait a minute there's some, something over here just caught my eye though i like that i like this little guy oh 20b yeah and uh oh this one's a little bit more powerful what's this one Aisher turbo hmm well, this is not bad. This is nice. Controls are nice on the inside. You, you, um, you know, you don't have a lot of equipment there at the moment. So no. you're going to probably want something to be like a, a yard a general tractor. machine. Yeah, I'm um, not kidding. So you're going to want something that can pull around your your water trailers. But then also when you come to make some, if so, you ever need to, a little bit of help making hay or silage. Oh, then. yes. Oh, speaking of silage, does he have a mixer wagon? Uh, I think we pass one. If where the old combine is, the oh, one, okay. Uh, I think it's hidden around there somewhere. Oh yeah, there you go. That it's oh, yeah, wow. that's nice. That's perfect. That's pretty simple. That probably makes about ten thousand liters at a time. Some medicine looking blades inside there. Is it? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That will uh, <laughs> that will mix. mix you up. Yeah. yeah, that'll be a mixing uh, wagon. Nicely done. Okay, well that's uh, that's definitely on the books as a, as a. I think that that would solve our problem at the right price. This could this could hold us over until we get something fancier, definitely. but uh, we've only got forty head of cattle, so we don't need to really go too crazy with the equipment. We don't need anything massive. And Off of the basics. This uh, yeah. this Iker would Iker would probably power that. that I would, think so. Yeah. I mean, we've got enough tractors lying around that maybe we can just repurpose something. But let's see what the what this thing goes for. If there's not a whole lot of interest in it, this looks like a nice little machine to be running on a, a dairy farm with. Yeah, it's very well kept inside as well. It's very yeah. clean, which is good. Usually, if from a like a dairy farm, they get a bit, bit uh, a little bit dirty, a little bit scruffy inside. But yeah, no, no, this one looks well. like it's been. I mean, it almost looks like he's he's only just gotten it. So yeah it's pretty it's pretty nice i mean the tires are brand new on it that's kind of neat and what else do you got over here oh oh wait a minute oh, this this i need 
This I need. I got a, I've got a third stage of fertilization I need to put onto my own barley fields. So mm. um, this is not for the dairy farm, but this one uh, for my own farm, I think that's going to come with me. What would that be, like 12 meters maybe? Maybe. I have no idea, but it's, it's, I don't need not anything long, massive. Yeah. I don't... Uh, when it comes yeah. to my own farm, I can only pull stuff with my old uh, Valmet anyway, my 602. So mm, this okay. would probably be doable with the 602 quite easily. And it's a little bit hilly near my farm, so I need to be able to pull something fairly efficiently. So yeah, I think okay. uh, well, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to put in a bid on that one too. Uh, that's Definitely. a little bit overkill. And, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's beautiful though. I love the, that, yeah. the thing I love the most about this is the... Um, the dirt texture on this one. It's pretty incredible. I have to unfold it. Oh, do you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Watch yourself, Dad. Careful the combine next door. Oh, wow. Whoa. Ooh, oh, 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 you got it. You got it. Held it. Now, this one, this one here is interesting because this one came out for the mod contest and it has individual control on each side, right? So you can actually yeah. tip each side of the... Uh, of the um, the sprayers, so if you're going across a field where there's a hill on one side, you can you can kind of tip it and turn it with the mouse, I think it is, where you can just uh, adjust the angle of your booms. Uh, but that would see what my control here. This is a farm to me inside. I'm looking at all these different buttons. Yeah, uh... I think it's a French machine. So yeah, so if you got that one, you get both sides. And then there you go. You can tilt it, tilt it that way. And then you can tilt it the other way. Oh. Yep. Don't hit stuff. Yeah. It's bad enough we're hopping into their equipment and just <laughs> starting it up. You know. It's quiet. No one's around here. We'll never know. Nah. Whatever. They wouldn't have left the keys in them if they didn't want us to try them out, exactly. right? But yeah, I love the. Uh, there's a lot of really good work in this mod. Yeah. It's, uh, it's quite I've, I've interesting. I've everything on the, the slope, but, you know, it shows off the features. Yeah, there you go. They'll love it. They'll love it. Just You're just staging it for them. Exactly. And then they got they got this old Russian thing, too. I mean, was this guy an old Russian or something? I mean, there's some... <laughs> Whoa, it kind this... of looks like... A, I don't know where Rostel Marshall based, but it looks really quite boxy and old. But from what I can see inside, at least, it looks kind of new. Well, it almost looks like he's upgraded the control panel on the inside. Like the the joysticks and stuff look sort of 1990s. And it's like a pillar on the side there of buttons and LEDs yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Well, that's the pillar that sort of throws me. I, I wonder what a, what era the the uh, the pillar is from. I don't know if it came with. I don't know. But it's got three headers on it. It's got the corn header. It's got the pickup header, and it's got the mowing header. So you, you can everything done here. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I think this would be, I mean, at the right price for a forage harvester and a, uh, uh, for a haylage uh, making, maybe this couldn't be Not done. Not too bad. This is this... Is looking little corn header. This yeah. Is... Have you seen the teeth on this thing? I know, they're a bit sharp. It's not very wide, but it looks like it could do the job for sure. Absolutely. It, the front teeth, yeah, the front teeth are maniacal. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and, you, you know, not I don't bother with this little guy. I don't read, I don't, just... I don't read a lot of Russian, but I'm pretty sure that says danger in Russian. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> danger. You will be swallowed whole. Yeah, <laughs> and this guy here, this is a sort of grass pickup. This is where I would yeah. love to have these headers for the combines, because here yeah. in uh, in yeah. Canada, what they do when they harvest canola, they mow it, windrow it, and then they uh, they thrash it. Pick it up. Yeah, and uh, that. Yeah. and that would be an interesting thing to add to the whole farm sim thing. If you could get one of these, maybe twice as wide. Yeah, uh, for like one that, for a newer machine, then you'd be able to get uh, like really cover some ground. Yeah, that's it. Although it all it's all about the size of the windrow, right? So I mean, if you're if yeah, you make a nice true. tight windrow, you could probably do it with something like this. But the the harvester is all wrong. You just need to put one of those onto one of those. Speaking of those, Ta -da, look at this brute. This, you know, I used to drive the 513 back on Mountain Valley Farm, and it was so gutless, I had to push it with a case to get it up the hill, but once you got her into a flat field, it was amazing. The sounds on it, the, the feel of the cab, 
It's uh, and it's one of those machines that you know, give me a wrench and a hammer, and I don't care what breaks, we can fix it. Very simple. I, my um, family used to have one of these. The really. Five sixteen, but we we took a straw chopper from the five five thirteen, I think, and, mm. and attached it to the back, so it's kind of makeshift. Mm. But um, it would just go and go. Yeah. And uh, Good old... the one thing I remember about the most was once we lost the keys right. to open the, the sliding door. So we had to bore, like drill a hole through the door and then put a padlock on it. <laughs> and then when we put the padlock on it, it's like, well, no one's going to steal it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to steal a combine, it's not going to be this one. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> First of all, how many more of these are there? I mean, you know, if you put an all points bolting out for a massy combine, that's one thing. But a mm. Forsyth 516 in England? Yeah, exactly. you, you know, they're going to find that pretty quick. You don't need to be a super cop well, to find well. that. I want to see how many of the, uh, the see all the pulleys go if we get it all set up. Let's see what turns. Uh, oh, right, yeah. Give her a go. Anything turn in that? Not a whole lot, no. Let me, um, let me just connect up to our... Uh, she takes the weight nicely. That's a nice little bit of height on the on the pickup. Yeah. Well, that's and that's the thing too is that the four thirteen that I had was oh the pulleys do turn. Oh yeah. Oh wow, look at that. Even the uh, the screens down below are animated. Oh wow, look at it all. And then you've got the yeah. Oh, oh and the good. smoke and everything. This is good. Wow. Let's see if I can get up there. Oh yeah, there's, the engine is exposed, the smoke's coming. Looks like it has dual exhaust. It looks like it has a front and a rear engine manifold. Exhaust manifold. It's kind of cool. And the open auger, the auger, the, the auger rotates in the pipe. This is a nice model. This is a very nice model. Very well detailed, yeah. Really good. Huh. You know, for a starter combine, this is not a bad deal. It's not not too bad at all, and this little header here is going to be what? That's actually bigger than the, uh, I think that's actually bigger than the one that I have right now for my case. Oh, well, there you go. So, I don't know. I mean, yeah. I've got a friend who just moved in, um, like I said, down near the dairy farm. And he may be looking for something like this because he's got a uh, he's got a couple of acres of barley that he did, and mm. uh, if he got one of these, and I have my old case, maybe we could do some contracts in town and do uh, and get some of the wheat picked up. If we had two combines, it would be quite doable with smaller headers. Yeah, no doubt. Offer your services around, see what you can do. That's it. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't want to compete too much with Sam, but. Uh, if it uh, if it gets us a little bit of extra business, that'd be nice. Look at that, yeah. Corn the uh, in, in the corn header is awesome. That's one thing I don't have on the case right now is a corn header, and this one is beautiful. It's nice, simple yeah. but effective. Yeah, even the modeling yeah. underneath is nice. The springs and the rods and all this beautiful stuff. All right, well that's awesome. I think there's a, quite a few things here that I wanna I wanna get in on the bidding for. I think for sure that forge mixer that's a priority for me. See if I can pick up a couple of small yard tractors that or one yard tractor at the very least. I like the 20D. It's a little bit more modern, but I think that that one's gonna go for more money than the B. So I'm, yeah, I think you could be right there. I the think the B would be a, a yeah. nice one to hit. Yeah, and the problem with the B though is that it's going to attract collectors. So hopefully that uh, nobody gets in here and just wants it as a lawn ornament or anything crazy like that. Because uh, I've actually Quite got possibly. I've got work for it. So um, yeah, well, it'd be it'd be nice to keep it working a little bit longer. We there are a couple of tents over the top of the hill there. Yeah, we've got about another maybe another 10 15 minutes until things get underway. Okay, we can go and have a cup of coffee up there and uh, plan out a strategy, shall we? Beautiful. All right, everybody, thanks for joining us today. We are going to uh, see what we pick up and we're going to populate our dairy farm. See you tomorrow.